everybody. I'm Susan. Welcome to Plateau Art Studio, art for kids. Join me as I walk you through step by step on some art projects. Let's see what we're doing today. Hi, well today I have the toucan bird. This particular bird we're going to watercolor, uh, use our watercolors for, and this variety of toucan is called a keel build toucan. And they're usually found in the tropical rainforest in very southern Mexico, Venezuela, and Colombia, and, and just they like the tropical areas in the forest. So I want to share with you this one I made pretty colorful. Their, their bills are always really beautifully colored. So I thought we'd have some fun fun with this one today. So this is my sample and this is what you have in the kit and it's just a pencil drawing. You can trace it if you'd like to with a black marker or um, a, probably a black pencil. Your colored pencils would probably work really well. And all right, so let's get started. So I did do part of one and if you want to trace this, go ahead and put me on pause and then revisit me when you're ready. So um, we'll continue with this one. So I did start this one so you can kind of see what I've done. This one I did trace and with a black permanent marker, which is waterproof. And as I paint, then my black marker doesn't smear into my paints. So that's really important if you use a marker. Make sure it's a waterproof or permanent marker. This one I added some leaves and I did start with some brown in the background because I want my background to be kind of muted and softer so that my bird really stands out. So, all right, so I am using a round, two round brushes. I have a medium, a smaller one, and then kind of a medium flat. So I'm going to use my medium flat and uh, I'm going to start with the background. So I want you to start after you've traced, then let's start with the background. So you choose whatever you want in your background, but I know that I do want some brown. <clears throat> so I am going to take my brown and paint around his bill and his body. And I already have some brown on there, but when I get it wet again, I'll be able to paint with the color on there still. And I'm using kind of a bright forest green when I mix it. I'm mixing it right onto the paper, <clears throat> which is kind of a fun thing to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had a little snack and it's kind of stuck in my throat. So why I like to do this and paint and kind of mix right on the background <laughs> on my paper. I don't always do this, but for this one, I can get some, some you know, different colors, some different values going. Value is just the, like it's a little more brown over here, more green over here, and I, I like that. I don't want it to be all one solid color. Remember not to get too much water on your paper, enough where you can paint and pull your paint around so that it paints nicely and you don't end up with big puddles that run. Some projects are great for that, but this one, we don't, I don't really want you to get too much water on there. Okay, so there's my background. And you just keep painting yourself and continue your background. 
And I'm going to do my leaves. If you choose to draw a couple leaves in your background, you can choose the color. I have I have kind of the Crayola watercolors that I'm using. And I like to use these when I do this because my projects are for kids and most likely you have something similar instead of my really expensive professional. Um, I have liquid watercolors and cake, some really nice cake watercolors. But these, I like to use these when I'm doing projects for kids so that it turns out the same and you can see how to use them. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. all right, so now I'm going to use a bright green, just plain old green. So they stand out, that's a different green, and they stand out from my background. If I was going to paint my background all this color green, they're not too different from my background then. And I, I want that. That's called contrast through your, your, your artwork. So, I just picked up a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna, I need more. <laughs> Makes my leaf interesting. Maybe a little more green. There we go. So there's my leaves. And I think I can pull this paint a little bit. And I can pull it away from the center and it gets lighter. So I'm pulling the paint out towards the edge of the leaf. And now I'm going to get a darker color and go right along this here because this leaf is making a shadow on top of this second leaf. Just a tiny bit. I used a bluish green there. There, I'll turn it around so you can see. So it's just kind of like a little shadow on that second leaf because it's overlapping. Okay. At any time I'm way ahead of you, then put me on pause until you're done with your background, if you needed to draw some leaves, and then, you know, when you're done painting those, then rejoin me. All right, so next, um, I want to point out that I did the black up top here, and I'm gonna do the black with you down below on his body. Um, here's the sample, what it looks like, and in your package, in your kit, you have a picture of like a real toucan. So you can actually look to see what he looks like. And, um, all right. So I did some yellow already. Make sure your brush is really clean when you do the yellow. Otherwise you'll get some green or other colors in it. Do the black last because we don't want black seeping into the rest of our colors. All right, so now we're gonna work on his, his bill, which is so beautiful. Some, some of them have green, a lot of green. Others have more blue. So you decide, most all of them have a red tipped beak or the bill and the rest of this. And they always seem this um, keel build Toucan always has kind of an orange stripe red, but the green and the blue can kind of vary. So you do your own bright colored bill there for your keel. Keel is spelled K-E-E-L. Keel Build Toucan. All right, so I'm gonna start out with my yellow. So keep it clean, and I'm just gonna put kind of a stripe up at the top. And then this is going to be red, so I'm going to stop there. 
and I'm gonna get some bright green. And put that green in there. You can keep it simple or get as creative with your color as you like. And maybe I'll make this one a little different from my, my sample. Boy, those beaks look really sharp, all those edges to their their bill there. I keep calling it a beak. It is a beak. <laughs> all right. And remember, if you get too much water, how do we take our water off? If you have too much in your brush, you just dab your brush on your towel and you can pick up water and paint until you've gotten enough off of there if you have too much, okay? And always wash your brush in between your colors. Always remember to wash your brush. All right, I just picked up a little more color. I wanted that brighter. Okay, and then I'm going to I think I'm going to just put a little bit of this bluish green here. I want it to blend into my other paint there. So I do want a little water, not a lot, but just so it blends into my other colors there. All right, so I washed my brush really well. And I just have a little tub of water and now I'm going to choose a blue for the bottom here and on my palette I have two actually yeah I have a really dark blue and a bright blue and I have this darker blue I have this real light one that I want to use because I think that'll look really pretty See that? That's really pretty blue. Remember that your cool colors usually blend really well together. And also remember, you can, if you're not sure about mixing your colors, you can always mix it on your palette on this side here. So if you weren't sure if blue and orange were going to look good together, sometimes you mix a couple secondary colors, you'll end up with mud, and that, that wouldn't be real pretty. <laughs> so just remember to test your colors if you're mixing. Okay, so I still have some blue. No, oh, okay, I like that. I'm going to add some more green. Green and green and blue. There's. Let's see. So I had both of these are wet, <clears throat> so they're blending really pretty right there. And I have a little puddle right here. I'm gonna pick some of that up. I'm going to wash my brush really well because I'm on a bright orange here. <clears throat> Since I'm working with dry cakes, it takes a little patience to get that paint. The longer you swirl your brush, you'll get more paint if you've got a dry, dry watercolor cake. If you have liquid watercolor, well, you're good to go. <laughs> All right, so I think I got plenty of that there. Nice bright orange. Okay, and I don't have a lot of water on this, just enough to paint with. So it's not running into my other colors since we do want 
those nice, really bright colors on there. Yeah. All right, I'm liking the way that's turning out. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to red for the bottom of his beak, or actually the tip. Let's see. I'm gonna swirl that one. And again, I have just enough on here to paint with and pull that color around. But no puddles. <laughs> Ooh, he turned out pretty. I like that. All right. So my toucan, his bill is done. a little bit of that blue around his eye. They have beautiful colored eyes. Sometimes they have a little blue, green around that the eye, the bright colors that kind of fade into the yellow. So I am going to do both. Around there. And I am kind of going over the blue and the blue is good and wet so it will kind of fade together those two colors and if you I'm kind of painting this by holding my brush a little odd so you can see that I pulled that color there, there. okay now I'm gonna wash my brush and get my yellow and I am going to paint around here. I'm going to touch that green so that those two colors kind of blend together. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. All right, so now you can continue with your yellow to fill in the, the chest of your bird. And go ahead, put me on pause if I'm going too fast, because sometimes I do that. <laughs> now, you can decide what color you want as I. I think I'm going to mix a little bit of my yellow here. A little yellow. And a tiny bit of green. Just a tiny bit. Kind of like a lime color. Know, can you see that better on the white? So I've made this bright lime color with yellow and a tiny bit of green. And that's what color I want as eye. There. Okay, wash my brush really well. It's very common for toucans to have when the yellow meets the black. Sometimes they have kind of a red stripe right there, orangey red. So I'm going to put that little stripe there. Yours can be yellow, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing that because I want to. <laughs> Now we're going to use our black. So as you finish the, the bill, your leaves, whatever portion you're working on, please always pause and then come visit me for the next step because they do move along pretty quickly. So now at the bottom, we're going to use our black very last because I don't want any black to get in my other colors. So I always do black last. So I'm going to keep swirling, get a lot of black. All right. 
think I've done a pretty good job there. So we'll work on the bottom. I'm going to stay away from this little stripe for now because I don't want my black to kind of blend into the uh, orange there, okay? Now I did use a different paint for the top here. I think I might add, this black is a very warm black. You can almost see brown in it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mix my dark, dark blue with a little bit of my black. It's gonna make it a cooler black and look darker, hopefully. Let's see, <laughs> I hope so. Now I could wait for this to dry and add more, but to get it darker. And I did use a different paint at the top for his crown up here. Let's see. Okay, so I just picked up a little bit of dark blue in my brown, or in my brown, my black. My black looks brown, I don't know why. Dark blue will make just a little bit, it'll make your black look darker. There we go. I think I used one of my really good paints up here to get it really black, black. But anyway, so there is our toucan. Yay! So I, I hope you enjoyed this project. I just love the different colors. It's so bright and fun, and you add as much leaves as you want. And you kind of make it your own. So um, there we have it. There's our two day. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Until our next project. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun with that project. Tune in next week. We'll see what we're doing then. Okay, bye-bye.